Welcome to The Corporate Caterer. Today we're joined by the founder of The Corporate Caterer, Michael Rossman, and Michael is going to talk with us about tastings. Tastings are a very effective vehicle of acquiring new business. Basically what we're doing is going after companies that have ordered catering or do order catering but haven't used your company. That's the target market. We're not selling cars. We're not selling stocks. This is a pretty easy sale. We are offering to bring complimentary samples of great food uh, to companies that have a need for it. So it's not a difficult sell, but it is, it is like anything else. It's time consuming. Uh, and there's a fair amount of prep work just to get that set up. And of course, then there's the whole process of executing the tasting itself. So that goes smoothly so that you get an order from an order and then hopefully multiple orders after that. Someone says, we, we order hot food for 50 people, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, five times a week. That's great. But if you don't do it, don't waste your time, you know, figure out how you are going to do it and then get back to them in six months. That's an option, but it's going to match up. You can't be all things to all people. Bring them what you know how to do and what they order. And that's why it's important to, when you talk to a, a prospective client on the phone, to engage them and, and ask, what, what do you typically do for catering? Do you, you know, if they never, they say, all we do is sandwiches. We never do hot food. We never do soups. We, you know, sandwiches and pasta salads. And really, that's what you want to bring them. I mean, you don't want to bring them things that they're not going to order. Don't raise the bar. Don't, D-O-N-T, do not raise the bar. There's no point in bringing in, uh, you know, this gorgeously garnished, uh, uh, eight ounce, uh, you know, per sandwich lunch. If when they order, that's not what they're going to get. You're setting everyone up for disappointment. Decide what it is, what you're going to do, refine your systems, and that's what they should get brought, what they're going to order. You're not feeding the whole company a, a complimentary lunch. And let's make that clear. You are bringing samples for a small group of people that order lunch, along with menus, and you're there to sort of engage and begin the process of, of relationship building and, and explaining your food and services. Uh, but yes, it, it is an investment. And, you know, this may be the only advertising that you do. And it, if that is the case, so be it. And it's always important too. you want to make sure that you're getting something back. And what you can always get at least is information. You want to get the contact information from the people who are there, their first and last names, their, their email addresses, their phone numbers. Um, you know, we usually try to at that time get, if you do like any type of birthday thing, get the first, the month and day of their birthday or their favorite sandwich. And you can get all that in the database. And um, that can become a uh, part of your promotional strategy. What do you say? Can you just kind of sure. mock a conversation for me? Sure. You know, um, the answer, you know, ABC company. Um, Hi, my name is Michael, and I'm calling from the corporate caterer. And I was hoping to get the name of the person who we could send our most recent catering menu to. So that's sort of the standard opening line. There'll be a few responses. You know, the best one is, you know, oh, that's me. Great. You already have the, great. What is, what is your name? My name is Sally. Sally, what's your last name? The conversation begins. Uh, or you'll, you'll get, this would be, you, you, the contact name is, and then you'll get another name and get a first and last name. I usually ask if that person is in. Uh, and, and, and begin the dialogue, you know, I'll say, you know, it's great. How, how often do you have food brought in? Uh, Open-ended questions, you know, not yeses or nos, but how often do you have food brought in? What type of food do you have brought in? Uh, you know, we, we do a lot of sales work in the area, and what we'd love to do is bring out some complimentary samples to have you try us out in hopes of maybe uh, having us become part of your ordering mix.